Hello friends, welcome to the programmer's world. In this video series, it is our first video, in which I will show you, that how we can create attractive user interface in Java. We will use Java Swing Library. Java Swing Library is a part of Java Foundation classes that is used to create window-based applications. It is built on the top of AWT, Abstract Windowing Toolkit, API and entirely written in Java. To create some attractive interface in Java, you have some basic knowledge of Java, and there are a lot of tutorials, where you can learn Java. Working in with Java Swing Library is very very easy. You can create amazing and dynamic desktop application by using Java Swing. Here are some example of Java Swing application. So, to create our first attractive desktop application, you have to install Eclipse or NetBeans IDE. In this video I will use NetBeans. So let's start. After installing NetBeans, when you will open, it will look like this. So to create first project, first of all click on file menu. Then, you will have to click on new project menu item, to start a new project dot select. Java and then, Java application, and click on the next button. Now, you have to give your project name here, and then, path for the location, where your project will be saved. Now click on the finish button. Your project will be ready within seconds. So, here our new project is ready. Here are the source code files of your project. We don't need this file. We need a JFrame, so we will add a JFrame to our project. So, right click on my application folder. Select new option, and then JFrame form. Now type the name for this interface form. Let we give it name, welcome screen and click on finish button. Here you can see, a blank form will appear. It is the area where we will design our interface. Let's design a login screen of our application. It is very simple. You have to just click on the palette here. And then drag and drop components as per your requirement. You can do this at your own level. So here, you can see I have created a login screen. It is just simple that's why I skipped this portion. Let's run this project. As you can see this project has a main class in this file, and it is not connected to our project. Let's delete this file and create our JFrame class as a launcher. When we delete this class and run our program it will ask to create a main function automatically within our welcome screen class. Here you can see our program run smoothly. To make it more attractive, we can add extra libraries in our project. Web look and feel is one amazing library. You can download WebLook and feel jar file from the internet. The link for that library is already pasted in the comment section. After downloading it add the same in your project. Here I will show you how you can add WebLook and feel library to your project. For that, first of all right click on the libraries. And then, click on add jar slash folder. And then select the web look and feel jar file where you have saved it. 
it is preferred that you should save all the jar files at a single place, which you are going to add in your project. And now you can see that the library is added in your project. Now we will use it in our project. So, now go to run method of welcome screen class. And write install the web look and feel in your project like this. Just write down those lines of code and run your program. You can see the difference. I hope you like this tutorial. In the next video we will learn, how to add some image to it, and in next of that. We will connect it with database. If you like this then please hit on the like and subscribe the programmers world. Thanks for watching.